Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carl D'Souza. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to look at Power Automate. We're going to look at the Common Data Service Connector. It has a list records action in there that we can use to connect to Common Data Service environments. Let's take a look at it. First thing we want to do is sign into Power Automate at flow.microsoft.com. And you may be prompted to sign in. Um, you can see in my case, I'm already signed in, so I'm pre-authenticated. So the next thing is to select uh, the correct environment. So up in the top right here, there's a list of different environments. Just make sure you're in the correct environment um, that you want to create this flow on. Um, and then we'll connect up that up to the uh, CDS environment. So let's go ahead and click Create here. Um, and this is going to... Uh, give us the option to create a flow. So the flow we want to create is an instant flow. Um, this is just the way that we're going to run this. So let's click on instant flow and we will give this flow a name. Um, I am going to call my one create report. Okay. And we will uh, manually trigger this flow. So let's check this top option here and click create. So that gives us um, a blank canvas on um, with our in our flow designer here, and we can see the first step is to uh, manually trigger the trigger the flow. So let's go and add a new step, and we want to add here um, a common data service uh, connector and the list records adapt uh, action here. So we can see here it's already pre-selected, um, and uh, in your case you'll probably just want to click on this or you'll want to search for the common data service and then, then find the uh, connector and then click on list records. So I'm going to click list records and now it's prompting us to select an environment. So this is our common data service environment here. So if I use the drop down, we can see uh, we can choose whichever environment we want. I'm just going to select this one and now the entity name. So if I drop this down, we see that these are this is a list of all the entities that we have in our CDS environment. So for this demo, uh, we're going to use accounts, something pretty simple. So we can see here that um, in in you know one step basically, we are um, using this list records to uh, pull down accounts from this uh, Dynamics 365 common data service environment. Okay, so uh, pretty cool already. Um, if we click on show advanced options here, we can see that there are many different um, additional things that we can do with our query if we want to. And uh, we're going to get into these in the next step. Um, but for now, we'll just uh, go with the defaults. So let's click save. And we will test this. So to test it, um, on the top right, click test. And click I'll perform the trigger action. Click save and test. And it is telling us to um, that we will be using the common data service here. So that's fine. We'll click continue and then we'll click run flow. So the flow is now running. Um, if we go to the flow runs page, we can take a look at it and see if it's completed successfully or not. Um, if there's any problems, then we can troubleshoot that as well in this environment um, in this page. So here we see that the uh, flow ran successfully. Let's click on it. And we see that we have two green checkboxes. Awesome. Um, if we click on the list records, we see that there is a link to download the output. Okay. So if I click on this, um, it takes us to a page which has all of the accounts and all of their fields coming uh, from the common data service. Right. So we've been able to successfully query this, um, which is great. Now, however, um, what if we want to do something a little bit more useful, right? So what's the next step? Um, so, you know, a typical, maybe a common business scenario, maybe to uh, retrieve a list of records and then email them to a user, right? So um, we can go ahead and do this pretty easily. Um, so if we go back into our flow, we can click the edit button here and this will take us back to the designer and we can add a new step in here, right? And the step that I'm going to put in here now is HTML. Um, so if I search for the HTML connector, 
we can see that uh, we have this one here, create HTML table, right? So let's select that. And now we have uh, an option to enter the from, and the from is gonna be the value that's coming out of the list records, okay? So if I select value here, um, we are gonna create a table out of this data, right? So the next thing is the columns. And you can see we have this uh, automatic option or we have custom, right? So let's go ahead and do a custom one. And we're gonna do this because all we wanna display to our user is the name of the accounts, okay? So the header is uh, really the, the uh, title um, of the column. So I'm just gonna call that account name. And or actually let's just call this name. And the value I'm going to put in as the account name here. Okay. So pretty simple. If I click save, let's go ahead and run this and see what it looks like. So same deal. Click test on the top right. And then I'll perform the trigger action. Click test. All right. Now we click run flow. And let's go to the flow runs page and take a look. See how we did. And here we have it. So if I click on this flow, um, we will see that we have all green checkboxes again. And let's take a look at the HTML table. So if I click on this, uh, here it is. So the, this is the output. Um, and we have the, the title is the name. And then we have uh, a list of all the accounts here, right? So this is cool. So this is what we wanted. Now, let's take this a step further, right? So these accounts are not really sorted in any way. And all it does is tell us like a list of the account name, right? So let's go and add in some more information here. So I'm gonna edit this flow again. And let's say we wanted to find out um, the account name, but also the revenue. So there's a revenue field that is on the account record in, in the common data service. Um, so if I click on this, the list records that we are using to pull down all our information, um, let's do this. Let's um, order by, we're gonna order by the revenue so I'm going to order by the revenue and I'm going to do this descending. Okay. So that'll give us uh, all of the accounts with the highest revenue at the top and then the lowest at the bottom. Now let's say that we don't need to get all the accounts back from, from the common data service, but we want like the top 10, right? So I can just put in here, top count equals 10, right? Simple. So that's cool. That'll bring us, that'll bring down um, these, these accounts by revenue. And now in terms of presenting this to the user, let's go and add a field in for the revenue. So I'm gonna call the title of that revenue. And here, if I search for revenue, it'll give us, uh, so this is the one we want, annual revenue. So that's the revenue field, right? So let's present that to the user as well. So I'm gonna click save and let's test this out. Click test again, perform the trigger action. Let's run the flow and let's go to the flow page and take a look at it. And click here, that's our latest flow that we're in. And we can see that it all looks good. And here's the output, right? So we are getting the um, the name and the revenue and the top accounts here. Um, and it's the top 10, right? And the highest revenue account is at the top and you can see that it's sorted by revenue. So this is really cool. So we now get this information out of D365 or the uh, your common data service environment. Um, and now we can do something with it, right? So the next step, um, now that we have our table, let's go and email it to somebody, right? So let's go and edit this. And we will create a new step. And let's look for Outlook. And I'm gonna use an Outlook connector here, this one, send an email. And this allows us to craft our email message, right? So the to field is whoever we wanna email this to. I'm gonna email it to myself uh, so we can log in and see the results. Um, the subject, I'm gonna put here, top 10 counts by revenue. And then the body, this is um, where we wanna actually list out the accounts, right? From the output of the HTML table. So let's just put a little text in and say, here are the top 10 accounts by revenue. And we will 
drop in the output from the list of records. Cool. So that's it. Um, let's, you know what? Let's do one more step while we're here. We, let's say we want to post this to Microsoft Teams as well, right? So I'm going to look for the Microsoft Teams connector and I'm going to use the post a message and we will, let's select the team. Um, I have a warehouse team. I'm going to select that and then the channel. Um, I'm going to click uh, the general channel. So this is where we'll post our message and I'm going to write the same kind of thing. Here are a list of the top 10 accounts by revenue. And we will use the output of the HTML table again. Um, and that's it, right? So let's save this. So when, when we run this, what we're expecting to happen is um, we will, this will retrieve the top 10 accounts by revenue. It'll send an email to myself and it'll also post to a Microsoft Teams chat. Okay, so let's test it out. Click on test and I'll perform the trigger action. Test, uh, save and test. And it's just going to confirm these permissions again. That looks cool. I'll click continue. And run the flow. Um, and let's go to the, the flow runs page. And you can kind of see like this is, you know, building out the flow like this is a useful way to kind of confirm that the flow is working and, um, you know, incrementally adding uh, new steps to the flow uh, as you go along, right? So everything looks cool here. Um, so now let's check out our email and let's see if we received an email. So I'm going to go to Outlook. And here it is. Um, here's our email, top 10 accounts by revenue. Let's see if we can open this. Awesome. So here it is. Um, there's our message and here's a list, right? Cool. So um we have this working as expected um you know if a if a if someone on your team uh wants a you know a very quick way to get a report um that they consistently run and they want that by email you know this is a way you could build this out you could build out a flow and you could you know set it up to run on a schedule or you could set it up to run um anytime on demand by clicking a button um like we did here um you know the flow that we built can be triggered from uh, signing into the Flow mobile app and then pressing a button, right? And then you get the email. So it's so kind of useful. You know, there's a few different use cases that, that you could get into. Um, so that's that one. And then let's check out our uh, Teams chat. And if I open a new tab here, we're going to see hopefully that um, the Teams chat also gets this, um, you know, uh, data report. So we'll wait for this to load. I am signing in on a web browser here instead of using the Teams client, um, but same deal. So you can see here we are in the uh, warehouse uh, Teams chat in the general channel. And um, you can see that uh, here is the message that we just created that was automatically posted. So that's it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thanks.